for those that don't know me, I'm Bryce Brown. I'm a New Zealand artist. I've been painting for mm, around 20 years. Uh, my first exhibition was in Whangarei in 1998 from memory, so yeah, 21 years. I'd learnt primarily from uh, observations, uh, practice, um, QBE as they say, qualified by experience. I haven't formally studied art, although I studied graphic design uh, in the, what year, 2004, um, for a year, and that gave me some um, knowledge of formal composition and things that I hadn't really uh, learned that much about um, from a technical point of view. So yeah, th those techniques, I guess, would have been incorporated in my work uh, since then. I travelled a lot in the late 90s and spent a lot of time visiting um, national museums and galleries, you know, the um, Musée de Louvre and the uh, Musée Picasso, etc, etc. Uh, I have a philosophy that um, your latest painting or artwork, whatever art practice you're in, is really the culmination of your entire life's work. Uh, right at that point, everything that you've learnt and been influenced by has come into that current piece. So, uh, yeah, my latest painting is this one here, which is called Couple in a Cornfield. Don't know how I came up with that name, <laughs> but it's, it's um, a reflection on my ob observations um, on areas where I live, I, I live rural, I'm surrounded by farms, orchards, um, there's, uh, in the dairy industry they often grow uh, maize crops as a type of feed, and obviously maize and corn is a staple in the diets of uh, a lot of warm countries, South America, countries where they have hot dry climates. And I've been thinking more about uh, global climate change and just how hot the summers are becoming. Um, at the moment, we're in the middle of um, a very mild winter in New Zealand. So, uh, yeah, is, for whatever reason you agree with, there's definite change in the weather patterns. So. It's a time of adaptation with crops and I kind of have a feeling that um, a lot of farmers, um, you know, my observations as a New Zealander is we've got a long history of dairy farming in New Zealand. Well, we sort of tend to um, force certain types of farming and adapt our environments to suit what we want. Well, I think we're probably at a tipping point, um, well we are at a tipping point where we can no longer control what the environment is uh, determining, that we're going to have to really start listening to uh, what the environment's telling us and we're going to have to be the ones to adapt um, to the change that um, may be partly natural and maybe partly man-made change is taking place, we have to adapt, so a big thing that will be changing obviously is the crops that we grow and uh, we probably really only need to look at countries um, such as the South American countries that have these, um, these hot climates to see what our crops are going to be in the future. Anyway, enough about that, uh, yeah I just thought it was time to sort of do a, a brief introduction um, into what I do and um, yeah please have a look on my website to see um, the other work that I've done over the years. My website is BriceBrownArt.com and also I have an Instagram and Facebook accounts and my username for those is BriceBrownArt. Uh, 
the Instagram account particularly I show um, a lot of the outdoors stuff that I do out in the environment uh, walking our amazing tracks that we have here in New Zealand um, and so yeah those types of things make you very aware of the environment that you live in and really just how precious it is so yeah enjoy the work and enjoy um, having a look through those social media platforms thank you